The 4-H Style Show is brought to you by Busy Bee Realty, the real estate office that cares about you and your family. All right, everyone. We would like to welcome you to the 2021 uh, Junior Fair Style Review. We thank you for coming. Um, before we get started, we're going to make a couple announcements and do some introductions. So if at this time our royalty that's present tonight would like to step up on the stage. First up, we have our special interest queen, Cadence Richard. Cadence is... Cadence is the daughter of Nathan and Amanda Richard. She has been involved in 4-H for 12 years and is currently a member of the Allen County Sharpshooters 4-H Club. Cadence is involved in several 4-H clubs and committees, including Junior Fair Board, Camp Counselor, and Forhea. Cadence has had the honor of representing Ohio at National 4-H Congress for Natural Resources, and this year represented Allen County in the Ohio Youth Capital Challenge, where she placed first. Cadence enjoys reading, line dancing, and insect collecting. This year, Cadence will play tennis for the first time for Lima Senior. Thank you, Cadence. <laughs> Next up, we have Tyler Arheit. He is this year's special interest king, as well as the 2021 Allen County Junior Fair King. Tyler is the son of Tim and Don Arheit. He is currently a member of Junior Fair Board, Pauls and Pals 4-H Club, America's Finest 4-H Club, and Lima Senior FFA, where he exhibits several projects, including rabbits, goats, dogs, poultry, dairy feeders, and special interests. Some of Tyler's memorable achievements include 2017 Rabbit King, 2019 Canine King, as well as 2019 Outstanding Junior Fair Board Member. Tyler plans to expand his farm in the near future in hopes of making agriculture his full-time career. Thank you, Tyler. Next up, we have Chloe Zellman. Chloe Zellman is this year's Special Interest Princess, as well as the 2021 Allen County Junior Fair Queen. Chloe is a 2021 graduate of Allen East High School. She is the daughter of Bonnie and Nick Zellman. Chloe is a member of Bunny Boosters 4-H Club, as well as Allen East FFA, where she has taken several special interest projects, as well as rabbit projects. Through school, she has been involved in powerlifting, SAD, and track and field. Chloe was the 2020 Rabbit Queen. Chloe will be attending OSU Lima this fall, majoring in psychology and minoring in art. Thank you, Chloe. And finally, we have Zane Newland. Zane is this year's special interest prince. He is the son of Jen Schaefer and Dave Newland. He is in Mustang Country Connections 4-H Club and Allen East FFA. He participates in soccer, basketball, and baseball. This will be his seventh year taking special interest projects. His favorite memory of the fair is hanging out with friends. He looks forward to helping around the fair this year. Thank you, Zane. Before we get started, we'd also like to take the time to sincerely thank um, Heavenly Stitches. They were the ones who created the special interest sashes that you see here tonight, um, and then they donated them. So we very much appreciate that. Our first category is designed by me. Up first, we have Amber Boop from the Beaver Dam Bunch. Amber is 17 years old and a member of the Beaver Dam Bunch 4-H Club. The project designed by me is about embellishing your clothes. She created new sleeves for her plain shirt and embellished them with ribbons and lace. She also created a removable collar with cotton, gathered chiffon, and, homemade, and a homemade pattern. She embellished this collar with two embroidered strawberries. This was her first time doing embroidery and she really enjoyed learning all about this fun and relaxing activity. She hopes to learn more about embroidery and increase her skills in the future. To create a full outfit, she has matched her skirt and collar with a strawberry dress, pink shoes, white socks, pink wrist cuffs, a pink strawberry bow, and a pink and white heart purse. Thank you, Amber. In second place, um, we have Samantha McDaniel. 
Um, she was unable to be here, I believe. Um, she's from Gomer Go, Gomer Go Getters. And then in first place, we have Amber Boop from the, the Beaver Dam Bunch. Amber represented Allen County at the Ohio State Fair, where she was an awarded and outstanding of the day. Congratulations, Amber. Our next category is Tops for Tweens. Up first, we have Lillian Miller. Lillian Miller is 10 years old and will be in the fifth grade at Allen East. She enjoys playing volleyball, basketball, and softball and is an animal lover. Lily is a member of the Herod Lively 4-H Club where she takes a market lamb project. Lily loves to sew and loves to create patterns. Lily has made a tunic as her project this year. It is made of a red, blue, and gray 100% cotton flannel plaid. The tunic is long sleeved and features sewn in side seam pockets. It has a two button closure at the shoulder seam for easy on and off. She has chosen leggings and boots to complete her outfit. She also made a cross body bag made of gray 100% wool and it features a matching front pocket with a button closure. Lily used a simplicity pattern and the cost of her tunic was $44. She will have fun and be really comfy wearing her new tunic to school this fall. Thank you, Lillian. So in first place in Terrific Tops, we have Lillian Miller from Herod Lively. Lillian represented Allen County at the Ohio State Fair where she was awarded an outstanding of the day. Our next category, is creative costumes. Up first we have Lainey Keene. Hello, my name is Lainey Keene. I am 12 years old. I'm my own model. I did the special interest category of creative costume. I used fleece and faux fur for this costume. I used the Koof Suit Puffy Paws pattern from, and the rest was made by me using tape and saran wrap. I used a pen from Hot Topic, a flower crown made by me, and a candy crown made by me also. The cost of the whole costume was about $500. I love the tail and how bouncy and perky it looks. I learned a lot about this. It was my first time doing a, a skill, arm, shirt, legs, feet, and perky tail. I made everything but the skull. I, I painted it and furred it, but did not make it. Thank you, Lainey. Um, Lainey, you can come back, sorry. <laughs> uh, so Lainey was our first place winner from the Beaver Dam Bunch, and she represented Allen County at the Ohio State Fair. Congratulations. Our next category is loungewear, and up first we have Elizabeth Hartzler. Ellie Hartzler is 14 years old, an eighth grader at Bluffton Middle School. She is a member of the Carol Corncobs 4-H group. This year, Elle chose to sew a plush robe and cozy pajama pants. She used McCall's pattern 7875. Ellie learned several new skills. She learned to sew piping, which you will notice on the collar, cuffs, belt, and pockets. She also learned to machine quilt. The robe is comfortable to, to wear and easy to care for. Ellie loves how soft it is. She looks forward to wearing it to sleepovers and hanging around home. Thank you, Elizabeth. Um, so in first place, we have Elizabeth Hartzler from Carol Corncobs, and she represented Allen County at the Ohio State Fair. Congratulations. <laughs> Our next category is Shopping Savvy, and up first, we have Samantha McDaniel. I created an outfit using what I already had except for a shirt I loved and was only $1. The shirt was at a thrift store. It was the shape, style, and color I really liked. I added my cowboy boots and jeans I already had. I added the jewelry and the bag I made for the other projects. I really like this outfit and will wear it everywhere. This outfit cost me $1. I learned you can get great deals if you look around. Thank you, Samantha. Hi. 
Um, our next girl is Lily Schneck. For her project this year, Lily is modeling the outfit she put together for under $65. This is Lily's fourth year taking a sewing project, and this year, instead of sewing, she wanted to learn how to be a savvy shopper. After taking inventory of her wardrobe, Lily discovered that she needed something simple and black for dressy occasions, such as school concerts and church, but also something that was versatile and could be dressed up or down. After an online search didn't yield the basic black piece she was looking for, she opted for a brick and mortar shopping experience with a budget of $75 in mind. Lily's V-neck tulip hem romper is made by Anna Lee and Hope and is 95% polyester and 5% elastane. Care for the garment is machine wash cold and tumble, tumble dry low. The romper is wrinkle free, easy to care for, and very versatile. The original cost of the romper was approximately $35 and Lily found it on sale for just $19.99 at TJ Maxx. The kimono Lily chose to pair with her romper as a dressy yet age-appropriate look. The kimono is made of 100% polyester and care instructions are to hand wash cold and line dry. Its original boutique cost was $68 and was purchased for just $34 and can also be worn with jeans or leggings. To accessorize her look, Lily has added black dress shoes that were already part of her wardrobe and matching earrings and hairpins that cost $7.48, also found at TJ Maxx. Total cost of the outfit is $62.84, and Lily plans to wear her outfit to church and dressy occasions at school. She will be in the eighth grade at Bluffton Middle School this fall and is a member of the Beaver Dam Bunch. Thank you, Lily. So in second place, we had Samantha McDaniel from the Beaver Dam Bunch. And, the, and then in first, it's correct on this paper? Yes. Okay. And then in first place, we had Lillian Schneck from the Beaver Dam Bunch. Uh, Lillian Samantha represented Allen County at the Ohio State Fair. Lillian won an outstanding of the day at the State Fair. Congratulations, ladies. Our next category is sundresses and jumpers. Up first, we have Mara Austin. Mara is all ready for those cool fall days in her new jumper. The black, gray, and red plaid fabric is made by Platitudes and is 100% brushed cotton. The A-line jumper features a square front neckline, a contrasting black pocket and shoulder straps with silver buckles and no-sew buttons. Mara really enjoyed making her jumper and learned several new sewing techniques such as how to make, match plaids, making and turning shoulder straps, and sewing on a pocket. To complete her outfit, Mara selected a black long sleeve t-shirt, black leggings, and black ankle boots. She'll be all set for those special events at Alice Middle School with her 4-H outfit. Thank you, Mara. Next up, we have Abigail Lewis. Abigail made a sundress using the Burden 9304 pattern made of 100% uh, cotton from Heavenly Stitches. Her dress has elastic straps and elastic fittings on the bodice to give her bodice ruffle a secure fit. Abigail's favorite part of her dress is the ruffle and her purple flower buttons. Abigail learned how to do buttonholes and a blind hem stitch on her Bern Bernina sewing machine. She had a lot of fun making this dress and increasing her sewing skills. Abigail plans on wearing her dress to school programs and church. Thank you, Abigail. Um, at, this, at this time, we'll be announcing the awards. In second place, we have Abigail Lewis from Gomer Go Getters. And then in first place, we have Mara Austin from Herod Lively. Mara represented Allen County at the Ohio State Fair. Congratulations, ladies. Our next category is clothing for middle school. Up first, we have Ella Miller. 
Ella is 14 years old and is going to be a freshman at Allen East High School in the fall where she participates in basketball, softball, and cheerleading. Her oversized jacket and pants were chosen to use for game day dress up occasions. The jacket made of a rose color 100% wool with pockets sewn in the side seams and front button closure. It features long sleeves with cuffs that have a button closure. The jacket is fully lined and she has added top stitching to complete the eye appeal of the jacket. She has also made a pair of paper bag double elastic waist pants within the side seam pockets and made of brown plaid 100% wool. Ella's pants are lined for comfort. The styles really have changed and she is certainly up to date with her look. To complete her look, she has chosen a cream color tank top and ankle boots. Ella likes using wool for her project as she shows sheep and she is promoting the wool industry. She is a member of the Herod Lively 4-H Club. The cost of Ella's outfit was $50, and it would have been considerably higher, but we have a friend that works in a quilt shop, and they were having a closeout sale, and the cost of the wool was only $15. Thank you, Ella. In first place, we had Ella Miller from Herod Lively. Ella represented Allen County at the Ohio State Fair, where she was awarded an outstanding of the day. Congratulations. Our next category is Sew for Others. Up first, we have Brooklyn Bible. Brooklyn is 13 years old and will be an eighth grader at Bluffton Middle School. She is the president of Bluffton Boys and Girls 4-H Club. Her grandpa, Jeff Moser, is modeling a Star Wars black two-tone flannel robe and pajama pants. A moon rock gray flannel has been added to the collar and cuffs. Simplicity pattern number 8804 was used for this project. Brooklyn found out sewing for someone else has its challenges. Their likes and dislikes, setting up fitting times, and teaching them to model. <laughs> Gray two-tone slippers and a t-shirt were added to finish off this outfit. Using her mom's Cricut, Brooklyn was able to add a design on the t-shirt. The total cost was $66.01. Thank you, Brooklyn and Grandpa Jeff. <laughs> Next up, we have Vivian Elrod, and our model is Claire Steepleton. My name is Vivian Elrod. I am a member of the Mustang Country Connections 4-H Club. I have been a member for four years. I've been sewing for over four years. I chose to do a sewing project because I like sewing. My step-grandmother guided me with my project. My pattern is Simplicity New Look. I chose this pattern because I like the style of the dress and how I thought it would look on my sister. I chose cotton fabric that looks soft and comfortable and had colors I like. To accessorize, I had her wear a headband and gold sandals. Claire can wear her dress anywhere. It's a very lightweight, loose, and summertime dress. The total cost of my project was $35. Thank you, Vivian and Claire. <laughs> Next up, we have Madison Miller, and our model is Lola Thomas. Madison Miller is 12 years old and is going to be in the seventh grade at Allen East in the fall, where she participates in volleyball, basketball, and softball. For her sewing for others' projects, she has decided to sew for her cousin Lola Thomas, who will be in the second grade at Allen East in the fall. Madison has chosen a Vogue pattern for the beautiful red, green, and gray 100% wool plaid riding jacket that she has made. The jacket is fully lined. It is fitted with a slight flare. The jacket has a contrasting rounded collar princess seams with side front pockets and long sleeves and is double breasted. Madison found out sewing for a young child could be challenging as they sometimes grow very fast and she added to add length to the sleeves so she added a contrasting wool cuff to pull the jacket together. She has completed the look of her project by making a 100% gray wool wrap around skirt for Lola. The cost of Lola's outfit was $46 and it would have been considerably higher, but we have a friend that works in a quilt shop and they were having a closeout sale and the cost of the wool was only $10. Madison is a member of the Herod Lively 4-H Club and also exhibits market lambs. Sewing with wool helps promote the sheep industry and is so versatile. Thank you, Madison and Lola. In second place, we have Brooklyn Bible from Bluffton Boys and Girls. Yeah. 
And in first place, we have Madison Miller from Herod Lively. Madison represented Allen County at the Ohio State Fair. Madison won the clock trophy for So For Others Jr. Congratulations, ladies. Our next category is accessories for teens. And up first, we have Kelsey Ely. Kelsey Ely is 13 years old. She is a member of Mustang Country Connections 4-H Club and attends Allen East School. Her project is accessory for teens. Kelsey's accessories she made was a single layered necklace with a diamond rhinestone in the middle of a silver square bead. She added crystal beads and beads to separate the different size small and medium charcoal square shaped faceted beads which gives the necklace extra sparkle and accented with a silver ball bead. She also made matching bracelet, anklet, and earrings. The jewelry cost approximately $30 to make. She bought supplies from Joann's and Hobby Lobby and Wish.com. Supplies were beads, cording, jump hoops, and hoop earring pieces. She recycled the charcoal dress and scarf from her older sister who wore it to homecoming in 2019. Her shoes were purchased from Shoe Carnival. Her hair bun was recycled from her sister. Her hair piece came from wig shop and recycled and her accent hair pins inside her bun were borrowed from her mother. The pins work for decoration as well as to help hold her hair in place. She plans on wearing this outfit for her seventh grade dance and special occasions. Her favorite piece is the necklace. Kelsey learned to put beads out on the table before putting them on the cording so she could rearrange them easier and change the pattern to get the final look she wanted. The final cost of this outfit was approximately $75. Thank you, Kelsey. Up next, we have Samantha McDaniel. We went to a garage sale and saw turquoise jewelry, four to five pieces. We also found a mini skirt with a pattern I liked. We bought it all for $2. We also went to Joann's to get fabric for my quilt and found leather looking trim for 90% off. I bought one yard for less than $2. I took all of the jewelry apart and designed a piece I really liked. The necklace so I made matching earrings. I com complimented my outfit by making a bag out of the mini skirt. I added the fringe to the bottom and sewed it up. Then I added fringe to the top and used a leather strip for a handle. I love my new outfit and plan on wearing it everywhere. The cost was approximately $4. Thank you, Samantha. <laughs> Next up, we have Cadence Richard. Cadence is wearing a denim blue polyester spandex dress that she has accented with a gold shawl she made for this project. The shawl is made from a finger weight, hand dyed 100% Marin wool yarn. The shawl is versatile and can be worn many different ways. Cadence's favorite part of her shawl is how soft it is. With this project, Cadence learned how to crochet using a diagram pattern. She plans to wear her outfit while going on places with her friends. Thank you, Cadence. Back up. In second place, we had Samantha McDaniel from Gomer Go Getters. And in first place, we had Cadence Richard from Allen County Sharpshooters. Cadence represented Allen County at the Ohio State Fair. And Cadence also won the clock trophy at the State Fair for Accessories for Teens. Congratulations. Our next category is So Fun. Up first, we have Olivia Egazino. Olivia Egazino is a first year 4 H'er in Gomer Go Getters 4 H Club. This spunky eight-year-old decided to make pajama pants for her first year sewing. The 100% polyester soft and minky fabric is adorned with butterflies made the perfect PJ bottoms. The elastic waistline is so comfortable for bedtime, Olivia also picked this pattern because the pants had pockets perfect for lounging around the house. Olivia thought the hardest part was getting that darn double folded bias tape to lay on there nicely. Olivia also helped make her matching top I sleep mask and slippers to complete her outfit. She is excited to wear her new PJs to lounge around home and to school on the special PJ day. 
Olivia enjoys swimming, dance, and softball. She will enter the fourth grade at Elida Elementary this fall. Thank you, Olivia. Up next, we have Rain Ames. Rain Ames is 10 years old and has been in 4-H for three years. She is currently a member of the 4-H club Clover Patch Crew. Rain used a McCall's pattern. She has chosen a maxi skirt for her project. She has chosen a cotton knit fabric to use for her skirt, which is easy to care for and comfortable to wear. The skirt features a black and white rose pattern with an elastic waistband. Rain likes the easily adjustable elastic and the black and white pattern. She learned how to stitch with a sewing machine while making this skirt. She plans to wear it to her special family occasions and to church. She enjoys swimming, reading, and writing her own books along with drawing. Thank you, Rain. <laughs> Up next, we have Lily Cappuccino. Lily is 12 years old. This is her first time sewing with a pattern and picking sparkly thin material. She added her own flair. Instead of doing a full around top, she designed a trail along with a matching shawl. Lily's hardest challenge was reading the book of the patterns, but enjoyed using the sewing machine. She has matching earrings and, black, and a black tank top. Thank you, Lily. Our next model is Lillian Miller. Lillian Miller is 10 years old and will be in the fifth grade at Allen East. She enjoys playing volleyball, basketball, and softball, and is an animal lover. Lily is a member of the Herod Lively 4-H Club, where she takes a market lamb project. Lily loves to sew and loves to create. She has sewn an elastic waist skirt made of red and black, 100% wool plaid. Her skirt features pleats, which Lily found to be very easy to do. She chose to make a solid red, 100% wool poncho, and added fringe trim to complete her look. She is wearing black tights and boots to complete her outfit. The cost of Lily's outfit was $50. She will wear her outfit to church and other dress-up occasions. Thank you, Lily. Our final model for this category is Lila Schneck. Lila is a three-year member of the Beaver Dam Bunch, and this is her first year taking a sewing project. For her project, she decided to make a pair of high-waisted, wide-legged shorts. The shorts are a teal-colored cotton blend with gold accent thread throughout. They are machine washable and able to be dried in the dryer on low. They feature an elastic waistband, a wide stitch tim, and all seams were finished by way of straight stitching since it was her first year sewing. For her first project, Lila encountered several challenges. First, she learned that the size she normally wears in bottoms was not consistent with the sizing on the pattern. Along with her project helper, she was able to try on the pattern before cutting the fabric to determine what size was best. Another challenge she encountered was that the fabric that she selected for her shorts was a remnant which posed a challenge to the layout not matching the pattern instructions exactly. Lila's project helper was able to show her another way to lay the pattern out so that the fabric could still be used. To accessorize her shorts, Lila has chosen a white bodysuit, dressy summer sandals, coordinating earrings, and a white purse. For cooler days, or classrooms at Bluffton Middle School, Lila will add a cardigan to complete her look. The total cost of her shorts is $22.20. Thank you, Lila. All right, when I announce your name, ladies, feel free to step forward. So receiving an outstanding of the day, we have Rain Ames from Clover Patch Crew. We also have Lila Schneck receiving an outstanding uh, from the Beaver Dam Bunch. In second place, we have Olivia Egazino from Gomer Go Getters. And in first place, we have Lily Miller from Herod Lively. <laughs> Lily represented Allen County at the Ohio State Fair. She won the clock trophy for So Fun Junior. Congratulations.
Our next category is Look Great for Less. And our model will be Kira Sharp. Kira Sharp is going to be a junior at Spencerville High School. Kira has always enjoyed looking around thrift stores to see what she can find, so the project Look Great for Less was the perfect fit. On a recent trip, she found this shirt new with tags at a, th at a third of its retail value. This burgundy skirt accentuates the black shirt and acts as a pop of color. It was also purchased for a fraction of the original cost. Kira has accessorized her outfit with a belt, boots, and jewelry from her own collection. She plans to use the knowledge she gained from this project to look great for less in the upcoming school year. Thank you, Kira. And in, and in first place, we have Kira Sharp from Blue Ribbon Bearcats. And Kira represented Allen County at the Ohio State Fair. And then next we have quilting. So in You Can Quilt, uh, or I'm sorry, in Quilting to Make the Best Better, we have Samantha McDaniel. This quilt is for my first niece. I chose pink and black because there was black in the pink flower fabric. With having two older, it won't show so much dirt. I also machine stitched and quilted my quilt this year. It was difficult because there was not much room to move the quilt. I rolled up part of the quilt and that helped. I chose to build, bind the quilt with pink satin ribbon to make it look extra girly. I know my sister and new niece will love the quilt and pillow. After the baby is born, I'm going to have it embroidered with her name and signed by me. Thank you, Samantha. Um, in first place, oh. sorry. Uh, in first place, we had Samantha McDaniel from Blue Ribbon Bearcats, and she represented Allen County at the Ohio State Fair. And then our last category for quilting is You Can Quilt. Up first, we have Adeline Winter. Um, so we have a beautiful quilt. Um, unfortunately, I don't believe I have a description for that quilt. Um, but as you can see, she worked very hard and it looks very nice. Um, so we're receiving an outstanding. Uh, we have Adeline Winter from Westside 4-H. Congratulations. And I believe that concludes our style show. So once again, we want to say thank you so much for coming out. We truly appreciate it. And once again, we just want to say a huge thank you to Heavenly Stitches for creating the beautiful sashes that you see our royalty wearing for special interest. Um, we appreciate them so much. So have a great night, everyone. Um, so I really like thrifting just in general. So I thought it would be really fun to try to put like, together an outfit for like as cheaply as I could. And um, this is what I came up with. So. How much did it cost you? Like $15 maybe. So the shirt that I found was like new with tags on it and the skirt was like $5. So it was a very good find. So, so what, you mentioned thrifting. So what got you into what got you into doing this and wanting to do this mm -hmm. and, and doing it here for fair? So I feel like thrifting is just like better for the environment because just all the effects that like mass production has on like the world. So and I just want to share that kind of and try to see what I could come up with. What got you into quilting? Um, at our church, Dorcas Ministries, I, I was the youngest person there helping out. And so I just started helping with quilts and I liked it, so I decided to take it in for it. So tell me about the design. What, what made you come up with this? Why did you pick the colors? What did what, you, you um, come up with this? This is for my uh, first niece ever. 
and um, we made it a little bit more girly with pink ribbon. And since she has two older brothers, we got black fabric instead of white because we know that they're going to be running around with it as well. And once uh, she's born, then I'm going to have it embroidered with my name on it and hers. That's awesome. Now, earlier you had an outfit that came up to a total of a dollar. How did you do that? Um, we went to a neighborhood relief and bought it for a dollar, and then I had my jeans and my boots, and I already made um, my bag and my jewelry already. <laughs> All right. Um, so, how did it feel to be, uh, be a part of this house? Um, it's an amazing experience. I really like seeing all the projects that come out here every year. It's a lot of dedication these kids do. And again, like I said, it's amazing what they do. How do you see your part in kind of encouraging them and, and uh, helping them be proud of the things they've come together and put together as they do this every year? I'm here to help every 4-H here lift them up as much as I can, make them do better than what they've already done. I want to make them be basically like grow up and do more every year and try to accomplish the impossibles, because that's the whole point of being here. So how does one become the Junior Fair King? To become the Junior Fair King, you have to go through an application process, just like you would go through your job, and go against usually five to six other candidates, and try to be better in your past with what you've done in the past future, or past shows, sorry. The past shows where I show the many different animals and special interests, which has definitely helped me learn the different ways of doing interviews, and it also has helped me grow to be a great royal, uh, royalty member and a great leader. Now, Junior Fair King, you're also special interest king, so yes. talk about that. How did you get into that spot? That is, it's a lot like uh, Fair King, but I have a lot, little bit less competition, and that has to do with more special interest with, you know, I want to need to know more, a little bit more about special interest, knowing that the different projects that the kids do out here and helping them lift them up through that. And it, 4-H has helped me grow, and that's where I grow at is helping others, and it's just something I really enjoy. The 4-H Style Show is brought to you by Busy Bee Realty, the real estate office that cares about you and your family.